trespassing. Are you going to help me get my dog? No, you're not. You're just going to let him run. Moron. The other day, a couple of crackheads pulled up because their dog got apparently ran into our property, tried to attack our ducks in the back. We want to make sure that doesn't happen anymore. We want to have to, dogs aren't running in. We wanted the front to kind of look like Area 51. So we're kind of going on that theme. We're going to put like a fence up kind of like they have there. It's going to go around the whole entire property. I bought an abandoned property at the border of Area 51 and nothing, nothing has gone as planned. It shouldn't happen. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be a problem. After spending $500,000, you shouldn't have this issue. So I got up to dump my black tank. <laughs> here it all comes up right out of here. It starts to overflow. This has happened to us. This is the third time. But could you imagine being parked here, trying to camp, and then having this come up next to you? This might throw a monkey wrench into everything we have going on this week. We have people showing up to do the fence. We have people showing up to do so much work. And if I can't get this sewer down, we are going to have to leave. I have no other options at this point. That's just gross. Look at that toilet paper right there. That's like so nasty, man. I will never be able to have people stay here. That's what's happening here. Oh, man. Ah, it's splashing all over now. Finding up what we wanted to find. Contractor left me this tiny little machine here that does not work. It's it's a small one. This is a four inch pipe. This is usually for smaller pipes. What it was, it was that. Something went down there was really clogged. It's cleared, and right now it's been about two or three days. We've Dumped our black tank a few times, and so far, no more issues. It's clear down there. So we ended up getting some little farm yeah, pets. Yeah. You hear them right there? <laughs> See the chickens over there, over there? And Emma's just walking like a little nerd. She's just nerding out. Hear them? And there will be fresh eggs. Anyways. Picked up some chatter last night on the radio, which is kind of weird. Okay, I don't want to tell them what that says. I want them to tell us what they think that says. You were curious as to the water quality out here, and that made me pretty quick curious too. So we actually did a water test, and the results were actually very surprising in many ways. As you can see on the results of the testing, there's no pesticides, which is, this was all farmland. So it's really interesting to me how there's no pesticides in the well. But there were a few problem areas. I can't remember what they are, but I'm gonna pop them up on there now. I didn't want to have to keep trucking water, water bottles in here to drink. We decided to go with a water purification system. We're gonna head over there to the well house real quick and show you what we did. We did something new in the well house anyway. So, now we had some issues we got something done here but we had some problems as usual like nothing seems to go without a hitch anyways nice reverse osmosis system we have here and then we also got a water softener over here but it's not working it's not hooked up paid so much money for this thing so we have fresh water in this tank see this tank right here let me back it up so you can see it apparently we have an issue with the wiring and how it has to go in here. And being so far in the middle of nowhere, it's nearly impossible to get anyone out here. So, and in addition, they didn't even tell me, we got this tank of water, it's 2,500 gallons of water, and it just sits in there. So it gets filtered first, goes through the filter, and then it sits in this tank. I asked them like, well, what about the, the tank, the water that's sitting in this tank, because it's sitting stagnant. You're gonna have stagnant water sitting in this tank. And that's gonna be a problem, because what if you get bacteria or viruses in this tank, you can't kill it. So what I did is I bought an ozone system that we're gonna put on here and it produces ozone and it kills all viruses and bacteria. But the guy that did the water didn't even tell us about this issue. So that's something we had to figure out on our own. That there is the wellhead right there. You see it? And for some reason, the contractor did not put that as well in this building. As you can see right here, I got heating tape all over this thing to keep it from freezing, but I do not know why 
he did not put that in there. I had a couple comments of people tell me how much of an idiot I am, but I didn't even install that. The thing that was going on in my life during this construction, my son was in the hospital. We didn't think he was gonna make it. He actually went unresponsive. We thought we were gonna lose him. And the last thing I was worried about was this place. And, and the guy who was building this for us knew this. He was aware of what was going on. One of the problems is we have, we've been working in that office right there, and that office is messy and tiny. Really too small for what we need. It's also a gym, so it's just completely cluttered. But we have ordered a Bob's Container office. It's gonna be showing up here, as you can see, there's no foundation for us to put it on. So we need to figure out where we're going to put it, first of all. I'm thinking we put it this way, like facing, just like the opposite of those, those RVs. We want to leave this open because we want to put a septic tank in here. But we have some issues. First of all, look, as you can see, there's no, they're coming in like a week. We've got no pads to put these things down, no concrete pads. We need to lay a foundation on the concrete pads right here. And right here, we have a gym coming as well. We have two Bob's containers. One's going to be right here it's going to be a office our office and the one's going to be right here it's going to be the gym and we absolutely have no concrete so we have time crunch that's going to happen in the next week it's almost going to be impossible for us to find somebody to come out here and put in what we need them to put in we have a fence coming with chain link fence it's going to run around the whole property it's going to be eight feet high and it's going to have barbed wire on there so last time you guys may have saw the video when we went to the back gate i don't know what that is well, we did a little something. in store for the back gate. Let's go see if they do their horn at us and uh, we will do our horn back at them. But this time we're gonna win. At the same time, we're not going there just to like, you know, disturb them and bother them, but they have been pranking people. And I know some people are like, oh, they're not pranking you because they're doing security. But then what's the reason they're honking horns at people? Come on, man, it's public land there. We only want happy people who have fun. And if you're a little, you know, a little stick up your ass because you're a little too uh, serious, find someone else to watch because we're gonna go have some fun. propane we're going through all those now let's see if this thing's still leaking uh see it's still got some water coming out from here see the water again where is this water coming from look at that it just keeps it and it leaks out here look at that puddle right there and there's nothing no reason for it to be leaking in here so somehow the water is leaking from somewhere and i have no idea where it's coming from it's really annoying see it right here oh, it's just ice in here we're gonna need to get someone out here ASAP to fix that because that is bad. Every trailer is the same. No matter how much you pay for these these things, they're always just just pure garbage. After we the crackheads showed up and they got their dog. Geese would have been out in the open. We got dead geese. One of the dudes was loaded, man. He was so loaded he couldn't even barely stand up. But after they left, we decided, you know what? We need to get a fence put up. We're gonna go check out our new fence. Let's walk it. We're gonna walk around the entire end line here. I kind of like how there's this barbed wire here on the outside, because that'll make it twice as hard to cover and climb up on this, you see that? Let's see, they put some concrete right here. A little bit weak, they did a little bit of a bad job on that. Anyways, so here is the new fence on the property. Am I right? And we left our fence over for our neighbor right there, so they can drive through if they need to. Here's our safety entrance, but look at this. Yeah, it's like crooked right here. 
Here's the property. You see that right there? That white thing, that big white tank. Filtration system has water that after it filtered, it, the water would just come out here and be totally wasted, right? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a concrete pad here and this is gonna turn into the, to the water for any uh, irrigation or anything we have out here. If we need to, any landscaping, this will water all the landscaping so no water is going to waste here. We ended up getting something new right back there. You can see it, nothing special, but you guys said you wanted more, more exploring content, so that's what we got for you there. But here we go, let me show you what this thing looks like here. It's not a higher end model. We just got something that we could use just to go around, make some content, but it seems okay. There are some issues. Got it from Johnny Walker, who never does a good job. But look at this the wall here. See that? How did he miss that? Didn't put any nails in. Shower here, it's got two bathrooms because we have a pretty big family here that goes around and we go exploring. This is cool, got a washer and dryer. So when we go out and do content, we're gonna be doing missing persons content again. So since we are gonna be doing missing person cases and stuff again, I decided to buy some military grade white phosphorus night vision in addition to thermal cans but we wanted a night vision and one thing that i wanted to know is how do the area 51 guards drive on those roads with no lights on so we are heading out uh, <laughs> and yeah i feel pretty stupid wearing this but i have no other way of strapping this to my head a lot of anyone that's come out here to visit area 51 they'll realize that they'll be standing on the side of the road in the middle of pitch dark and a raptor will come flying by them. No headlights on, completely blacked out. And I think this is how they do it with these, these uh, goggles. So what I got here are some very expensive white phosphorus goggles here. So we're gonna go up here on the same road that they drive. I'm gonna cut all the lights out, turn everything off in here, and we're gonna see well, if we can drive, if it's safe. And I'm only doing this if it's safe, it's closed road. This road will be closed up here that we'll be on. So it ain't like, it was not dangerous or anything like that. Completely safe. Closed road. Oh, dang, I can see hella good. Dude, you can totally see now. Look at that. You can see stuff in the skies that you would never imagine with these on. Uh, not so good like this. Okay, now let me, I just need to turn it down. No, it's too hot. Oh, no, dude, I can't see anything. So I don't know how they do it, honestly, because <laughs> You'd have to have your head out. Oh, maybe it's because these lights are on in front of you. Oh, now I can see like good. Maybe they drive like this. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you could. They can't see. How do they see out their window? Let me pop this up. Let's try. How do we turn these off? Hmm. Off. That's off. Dang, guys. You can't turn this off. How do you get the screen back on? There's the manual in it. Oh, I guess you don't have it on anymore. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Oh, Yoda. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I can totally see now. Yep, 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 yep. I can totally see, though. No, I'm uh -huh. kidding. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> dude, we're literally driving. I want to show you. I'm in the middle of the road. You want to see? Yeah. Middle of the road. <laughs> I'm choking. <laughs> Should we even see if they notice us though? Should we just pull over right here? Yeah, and see if they even notice. And then they see me with this helmet on. <laughs> Go further. <laughs> I don't think they know we're here. Awkward. <laughs> Seriously. They're gonna be like, whoa, what the, how did we miss them? Oh, we're a lot closer than I thought. Their cameras aren't even looking at us. Their was looking, they just got us right now. Right there, you see That was an epic prank! <laughs> <laughs>